Okay. Now, as you can see, uh, they're now glued in place. We have the supports uh, glued in place on them. And the thing I like about, again, about the glue that we used is that um, that particular glue is made specifically for modeling for model plastics and it has a tendency to meld the two plastics together especially when they're the same types of plastic and in these older cars they use the same styrene uh, the pyro type plastic that they use in uh, models as they did in making the uh, uh, train cars so it, it works works really good and it's really strong makes a really strong bond and when you brace it as we did it, it just really gives it that extra and unless something happens to actually a hard force uh, to break it off or someone just snatches it off uh, with a real strong force uh, again, or wiggles it back and forth, um, they, they'll never fall off. Uh, even uh, if it's placed in water. Uh, now, if it's older, eventually it will come loose. You put it in warm water, uh, eventually a period of time. But the older it is, actually, the stronger the bond. And so, uh, if we put this in water today or tomorrow, of course... Yes, it's going to, you'll be able to wiggle it back and forth, pull it apart easily. But five, six years from now, won't be that way. Okay, so now uh, what we do, and I had already checked it for alignment, uh, but we check and see if the wheels are in alignment. And one way is to do that is to put your rod uh, down through the holes and <clears throat> I got a little straw here and we see there if I can hit the hole my angle and I'm trying to do it at so you can see it in the camera here we go And see the rod is almost perfectly uh, across from the other one. Now, I might want to point out when I did this first car, uh, I went ahead and filled in the bottom side of the hole and drilled in the hole a little higher so that it actually went into the leaf springs to make sure uh, that the car would sit and roll even. Now I might have to do the same thing on this one but I'm thinking because it looks pretty level. Across, and they are directly across from one another. Looks pretty straight. Almost perfectly perpendicular to one another across here. But I'm not going to have to do that. <clears throat> On these. We're going to add some couplers on here too. Uh, but we're going to let that dry up and we're going to move on to another project.
Now, what I have here is this <coughs> Mark's the Rocket Computing Center, which is a caboose. Goes with the Cape Canaveral set. And it's kind of funny because I just just purchased this car. These are very hard to come by. Um, they want quite a bit of money for a really good one on eBay. The only thing that was really wrong with this one was was the corner was broken off. And, of course, it does not have the smokestack uh, sitting in there like it should. Uh, also, this was broken right here. Uh, it looks like it's been re-glued once, but it wasn't really a good job. So we're going to go back and we're going to re-glue that. Uh, on this one, we're going to use some crazy glue. Uh, you know, we might not. We might go ahead and stick some of that model cement in there. And then, uh, that's about it. Now, as to the smokestacks, there's something you can do, and they look pretty good, actually. And you can use these in a lot of different areas. You can actually use one of these, which is like a thumbtack. It's, it's called a stick pin. And you can actually take that stick pin, you can uh, drill a hole down through here and put the stick pin in place. Now, before you do that, though, what you want to do is uh, cut this off, this piece right here. To where it's flush with the top. And then take your stick pin, leave just a little bit of the stick pin in place so that it doesn't come all the way down through the top. And it really doesn't matter if you don't have small kids and you're not worried about them sticking their finger up into the bottom of it, um, then it really won't matter. But, uh, that's what you can use uh, to replace that. It looks good, and that's what we're going to do today. All right. First, we're going to re-glue this. Now, I've got two places on this that I'm going to have to use glue. One is right here. And the other is right there. You want to make sure that you get it down in uh, so that it be in between the sections that you're going to re-glue. Because otherwise the glue is just sitting on the top and won't do you a whole lot of a whole lot of good. Now, sometimes glue around the outside will help you to make a bind. But if there's no glue in the middle so that it will bind together, then you've actually kind of defeated the purpose. This one's really old. Uh, it's been around since the 1940s, 1950s. We're going to take this and we're going to cut this off. Yeah, 
Saw that and sent that off a little bit. What you use for that's a really good emery cloth or about 600, 700 grade sandpaper. Now, this is kind of hard to do. If you got a drill, uh, you're actually better taking your drill and drilling you a little hole down in there. You see, it's, it's going down in, but it takes a lot of pressure and a lot of work. So we're going to get the drill out and do it so in order to save time. All right. Take the drill. We already got our little spot mark. And that hole is is done. Take a pair of snips. Snip it off pretty close to the to the edge. Again, grab your glue. Put your glue on there. Set it on. And you got a really nice replacement for your roof. So many things you can do with push pins when you're modeling. Okay, those two things are done. And uh, in order to fix this, we're going to need a piece of uh, heavy
plastic styrene and I had a piece here I was going to use and uh, I don't know what happened to it it's not here right now <laughs> sorry about that so it, it's fallen somewhere I don't see it uh, but anyway in order to fix this we need that piece of styrene and I have to come back and show you that uh, at a later date but we did make this repair and we now have a new chimney we'll come back and we'll uh, do that repair we're also gonna these wheels should turn really free and I don't know why they're not so we're gonna come back and we're gonna uh, check that out also and take care of that and we'll come back and we'll put couplers on this We'll paint that and we'll paint this one. We'll have our stanchions and we'll do uh, our rockets. And I just wanted to show you this. This is the uh, fourth car in the series. And it is, uh, the only thing that was wrong with it actually was this missing, this uh, section of wheel right here, this section. And it's missing, it was, had a broken coupler. Now you can see I've already repaired the coupler. And when we come back, I'm letting it cure out now. When, I, when it come, we come out, come back, we'll uh, gauge it, check it. Uh, and... Uh, make this repair all right that's it for now uh, tried to make a short video it's a little longer than I anticipated but I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you soon with uh, part two bye for now happy railroading